<sighs> what if my entire dunk journey was put on my path simply for me to go experience, to know now what I'm capable of? Everything I went through, all the steps I took, all the beliefs that I shattered and recreated, dunking was a way for me to understand those things. Sunday, a day of reflection. So I am done dunking. The chapter is coming to a close. <sighs> Before I started, it wasn't even possible. And then one day I had this question, this thought, what if it's possible? And that thought of achieving a dunk was so exciting, it pulled me through all the doubts, the fears, the judgments. I increased my vertical about 14 inches. I've dunked on people. I've dunked in games. I've dunked in contests. I've met the best community. I've pioneered the whole community. Turned what was beyond a dream into reality. It feels like I climbed up a mountain I didn't even know existed. And yet I still feel like a failure for not achieving those goals that I set out. It taught me that I have this creative power that I can manifest anything I want. The reason I would continue the dunk journey is out of fear. Fear that I don't believe it's possible or fear of judgment from others that may say, well, if you believe anything is possible, wouldn't you go do this? But now, where does that end? That is me attaching what I do to me believing anything is possible. Now, I've, I've done so many things that were beyond my past self's even possibilities of, of belief. I've inspired hundreds, if not thousands of people to start to dunk, to land their first dunk. There's dunk camp, are you kidding me? I quit my job, my nine to five job to pursue my passion because of the mindset that I developed. And that mindset is, it's all a reflection of what you believe. And yes, there's some doubts because I'll never be able to prove these goals that I've set out for myself, but I don't want to go out to prove those things just to reinforce my belief. The exciting part is to think about where dunking has taken me to now seeing I'm on a new journey, perfect timing with my 30th birthday and this new year and feeling like it's the, the biggest step yet and the biggest letting go, the biggest release and the biggest door opening. All of this happening at the same time to think where dunking took me and the way it monumentally shifted my perspective of what's possible in this reality I cannot wait to share what's gonna happen through this next journey and I'm so excited to see what I learn and what I create and what happens as a result of me following this path. And that's why I am letting go of dunking and that's why it feels so right because if I didn't follow that same passion for dunking, I would have never had that dunking journey. Now that journey's coming to a close but I have that same passion, that same fire, and that same hype if you can't feel it or not to go to this next step, to take this new direction. My entire 20s I realized was about removing limits and as I'm healing that and letting go and feeling that grieving of an old self just like the same way a chapter's done just grieving that I was reading this book and I was reading this book and it was about the root chakra the first chapter is about the root chakra which is where my injury is and it talks about limits. And it's quoted here, if we didn't limit our activities, we would accomplish nothing. Far from being a negative, limitation creates a container that allows energy to build and gel into a substance. To manifest, we must be willing to accept limitation. Limitations create a container that allows energy to build and gel. So not only did I heal and feel like I was letting go and accepting that this other chapter is over, but I also noticed that in my life, a lot of different things were scattered. 
I was making music, I had clients, I was creating podcasts, I was creating videos, I had all these ideas, but they kept hitting a certain level. And that's because I kept scattering them and not trusting them to grow. I wasn't having enough of a container of boundaries for all my energy to funnel into one thing. If you guys see dunking, one thing you could learn from that is that was my container, my life was dunk training. I called it dunk life and I focused all my physical energy on dunk training and even my life from the content I created. Other things did not build as well as dunking did because dunking was always contained in that frame. It was always the focus. So what's beautiful about the synchronicity and these lessons that are just feel so divinely guided towards me is that it now allows me to see the next stage of my life as me choosing limits. Now the things I know for sure is that when you're feeling joy and you're having fun, that is the universe coming through you. Now the thing is I always act on that and try to figure out what's the best way. I am clearing this vessel to be the best channel it can be for whatever wants to flow through me. So right now in this moment, I have no idea what that next chapter looks like and I've come to the realization that I keep jumping to the next goal. So instead is that I wanna be the best service I can be to the universe right now. What's my role on this planet in this lifetime? And that's gonna take some time. <laughs> so I'm pumped because when I'm in harmony and in that full flow, nothing feels better. The magic moments, the synchronicities, the expansive experiences that I have, I love all of that. And that's what creates the best art and I hope it resonates with you and helps you to get to this place of freedom that I am enjoying so much. So that's it, let's freaking go. Look where we're at. So we've all heard the cliche that the journey is the destination. But when I had this moment recently about where I'm feeling called to go, I, I felt it on a deeper level that not only do I want to get here, like how exciting this would be, just like dunking, if I could achieve this, it would be so amazing. I now see this new endeavor, and right now the endeavor that's calling me is music, and I'm still giving space to see what that call is, if it's really that way, but right now when I think of that destination, I'm also as excited for what will happen along the way to get me there, like the steps I'll have to take or the people I'll get to meet or the synchronistic moments that happen. And that's what's cool about this video is that it started with me just expressing to find that calling of what pulls you towards it. But now think about the journey it'll take you on it, how fun that journey is. I wanna go on that journey to that. I don't just want to get there, I wanna go on that journey. So I hope for you that when you feel your authentic self, that you're willing to listen to that and not let judgments of others, judgments of yourself, preconceived goals that you set that don't serve you, if you simply feel that they do not serve you, get clear with those and you can really step into what lights you up. That's gonna yank you into a new reality and it's gonna be the best way you can let your light shine on the world because you're gonna be vibrating at your highest, which is the best for every single being in this planet and every single molecule. Frightening, it feels unknown. I have questions about why do we want to share? Why do we have this feeling to explore? Press. I hope to answer those questions as through my art and as I develop on this channel. So I'm excited to share this with you guys and I love your feedback and any questions you have and where you're at on your channel, on your channel, but also on your path. And I hope more videos do this and I hope my music inspires you to change your view of reality or just feel that power and have more fun and find what calls you and become the vessel that you are to let life flow through you. And that's what it feels like when I follow that calling. And that's how I want my life to be. And I encourage you to see, what do you want your life to be? What's going on? <laughs> it's one of those days. Oh, God, I swear I'm beaming. I'm going, got a feeling. It's a knowing, can't control it. I just gotta let it focus. If I don't, I swear I'll overheat. It's bigger than me. This way over Steve, he's just a human being. Remove the human, let the being speak. Frozen moments got me feeling chosen in the state like we flowing beautiful my boom is getting anticipated investing in myself going up real little real estate call it how you see it when you feel it then you know it's fate hold up my guy asking me how did you figure it out i didn't got rid of the doubt shit was a cloud wow that's pretty profound every day evolving how the fuck you gonna find them only dimes in my soul contracts check the fine print through the crowd.
grapevine. Damn, we share the sign. Damn, we share. Oh, my genius, what he sees is inside him. Forgiving my past and I'm blessing my future. Healing within every six karma suture. Clearing the channel, allowing my genius. Going and wrong, you feel it? Aura like menorah, shout out mama, do it for us. Horoscope be rising Taurus, maybe peeking into future lifetimes. Waiting for the right time, looking on the bright side. Either way, I'm blessed to say, this just one of those days I'm beaming. I'm going, got a feeling, it's a knowing, can't control it. I just gotta let it focus. If I don't, as well, I'll overheat. It's bigger than me. This way, over Steve, he's just a human being. Remove the human, let the being speak. Beaming genius, genius beaming, I believe it, let the people see it. Feel the light in between, that's the beaming genius Beaming genius, beaming genius, I'ma keep it beaming Know I mean it when I speak it, you are beaming genius What's poppin' baby? Yes, <laughs> it's a music video, you wanna be in it? No, I'm just kidding Be the energy, <laughs> be the energy Steve Take it easy. Keep the energy speed, right? That's it, baby. Okay. You're a genius. Yeah.